We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Detroit Tigers. Major League Baseball on the show starts now. Daniel Norris gets the ball for the Tigers in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matt, we're getting a look at a guy that's really dependable. Last three starts, ERA just under 3.00, and that's some pretty good pitching. Minimizes the amount of walks, keeps his hits down, and if he can do more of the same of that, he should have some pretty good fortune in this one here today. Here's Brett Gardner now, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Brett Gardner. First offering on its way. First to four here on this Monday night as the first pitch of the game is over for strike one. So guys these Tigers as they begin play here tonight they came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah Maddie, this definitely looks like a situation where somebody's going to have to call a team meeting. I don't know if it comes from a veteran or the manager decides to close the doors for a second but this team has not played well. They find themselves losing that, that, lately. They lost the last game and they're going to need a spark Aaron. to get this thing turned around. Good. Here's big Aaron Judge he comes in after a day of rest yesterday so we'll see if it did him any good. First pitch coming here it is. Boy, and it's a good night for the old hot chocolate here. 46 degrees at game time. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. And set up behind the plate is Kenny Jansen as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Hey, the book on Kenny Jansen, D. Road, not a very big zone, but. He will give you that low pitch below the knees. Yeah, and he's consistent. You're okay with that as an offensive player. He wants to give that pitch below the knees. If this pitcher can execute consistently, you better make the adjustment. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's that the advantage third. of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. So now to the plate, Gary Sanchez. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. The average sitting at 292 here to start play. Three homers, nine driven in. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. And I'm sure that one stings a little bit. The best revenge he can get for his pain is to find a way to come around to score. We'll see if his guys can move him around the bases. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. It's been a really slow start to the season for him, as you can see by the April numbers on your screen. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, that's off. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Love the fact that he's not scared to go right back inside with another fastball. I know he hit the last guy, but if he's going to have success, he's got to establish that pitch in. Sanchez, the runner at first with two gone. Two balls and no strikes. The count to Stanton. Non competitive pitch right there runs the count to 2 0, and he is ready to do some damage in the box. From the belt, kicks and deals. Grounded down the third baseline, but this will get foul 2 and 1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Wow, that changeup is an absolute beaut. They call it the great equalizer for a reason. 
the 2-2. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Hard hit ball to second. Oh, and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head. Well, this is a costly mistake to say the least. It's a dead ball situation. That means those runners automatically move up to second and third, not helping your cause very much when your heirs are putting guys into scoring position. From the stretch, below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Urshela hits a little over the 270 mark. 1-0 pitch coming. Runners at second and third with two gone. A strike and it's two and one. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on 2-0, that tells me that's a pitch you feel really confident with. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And not in time as the run scores. And he is in there. Hey, one of the things you want to do, Dior, is strike early, and they've done just that with a big hit driving in, too. Yeah, Dan, great to grab an early lead right there, especially when you can throw up a crooked number for your pitcher. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade, as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. The 1 0 home. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Stewart is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. So two runs on just one lone hit, one error, and one man left on base. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Yankees, too. The Tigers coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Jordan Montgomery, a hurler from South Carolina, will be the starting pitcher in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, I'm really excited to watch this guy in this one. He strung together a solid season up to this point. ERA in the low twos, and that's not an easy thing to do in this day and age of high-scoring games and home runs and teams filled with guys that can hit throughout the lineup. This is a really good pitcher. Stepping into the box, Victor Reyes. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Starts him out with a changeup for a strike. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they begin this series feeling pretty good about the way things have gone as they come in riding a four-game winning streak. Quick turnaround after a short little homestand, Matty. Four and two, though. They played well, taking four out of the six games they had to in front of the home crowd. They walk into this environment on the road today looking to set the tone for this road trip. you got to go into battle mode after falling down 0-2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone. This is the kind of the bat where your hitting coach grabs you on the way back to the dugout to have a little chat about your approach. Not a lot of positives to draw from that at bat when you take two strikes and then you chase one out of the zone to go down on only three pitches. Here's Cameron Maben now. As he'll take a first pitch curveball right down the middle for strike one. Mabin was once a member of the club he matches up against in this one. He signed as a free agent with this organization earlier in the season. 
Yeah, Maddie, you mentioned he's playing his former club, and that can get tricky sometimes. I don't know if he's going to dinner with these guys after the game, or he showed up here with an axe to grind. Bases are empty, one man out. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0-2, but he holds back. It's 1-2 and two now. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. Tried to get him to bite on that curveball, but no luck. It'll be interesting to see what he goes with now with the count even at 2-2. Two and two. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Full count, three two. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0-2, started nipping at the corners, and the next thing you know, this count stands at 3-2. and two. One out, nobody on. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Heading after it is Judge. He gets there, and that's the second out. Batting third, the designated hitter, Miguel Cabrera. And that'll bring up the veteran Miguel Cabrera. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Here's the pitch. Ball. Ball one, no strike. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Got him reaching there. Strike two. two strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Did high and deep out to straightaway left. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. The Yankees are out in front, two to nothing. Digging in, Luke Voigt. They'll get us started in the top of the second. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. 92 splits the plate, and it's strike one. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Now the 0-1. High and deep to right center. Ranging back is Maben to the track. And this one is gone. A home run. Solo shot to right center. Seven home runs for him on the year now as the Yankees move out to a 3-0 lead. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. In now, Mike Talkman. Rounded up the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Talkman, the former Colorado Rocky. He was acquired via trade last year. Yeah, this guy's fully settled in with this ball club right now. Knows what the manager and coaching staff expect from him. Is not taken aback by anything. He's been through the spring training process and gotten to know everybody in this organization top to bottom. No outs, nobody on. Pops this one up. Candelario has a play. He's got it one away. Batting nine. The second baseman, DJ. And that sends DJ LeMayhew into the box. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. 
Here comes the first pitch. Slider and this is hit on the ground out to short. Throw gets him two down. Now that the center fielder, Brett Gardner. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Brett Gardner flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. The pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Two out, nobody on. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Stewart is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Yanks able to add on one more via the solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now 3-0 New York. So that'll bring up Jonathan Scope. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. And the pitch. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And that's a fair ball as it's through into right field. That is good. The first baseman, CJ. Digging in, C.J. Crone, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. From the stretch. Inside, ball one. A runner at first with no outs here. Fouled off. The 1-1. One, one. Now a chopper to first might only get one. Oh, but the feed to the shortstop is off the mark. And they won't get him as he's able to advance from first to third on what would certainly be scored a throwing error. Well, I think the second baseman felt the heat from the runner coming at him. He seemed to rush his throw, and that caused him to throw it wide at first. Tough turn, but I think he'd tell you he should have made a better throw. So it's second and third following the error. And that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop, Nico Goodrum. First pitch of the at bat. Nope, back down. Couple of men in scoring position here with none down. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. 3-0 and oh now. And remember here, there's an open base at first. So a walk is not the worst thing that could happen right here. And that's low ball four. The third baseman, Jay Hurd. The next batter, Jamer Candelario. Hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday.
Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball one. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Candelario is slugging a little under the 400 mark, so the chances of his connecting with the ball right here aren't particularly good. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Nowhere to put anybody. 2-0 count, not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hit down the third baseline. Now the 2 1 pitch is laid off of for ball number three. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. The three and one pitch. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. And this is a great example of what happens when you can't find the strike zone. The first walk of the inning looked harmless enough, but this one brings a runner home. Self-inflicted wounds are always the hardest to swallow. So striding in, Austin Romine, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch on its way. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Can't connect there on the breaking ball. One and one. Clearly, this is a tough situation to be on the mound, but the key here is minimizing. They're up by two, so if he could find a way to get out of this bases loaded jam by only giving up one run, that would be clutch. Line toward the alley in left center. Catch is made in medium deep left center. Here comes the runner for the plate. And to score is the runner from third. It's now a three to two contest. Boy, this one looked like it was headed for extra bases off the bat. Instead, a line drive bullet caught in the alley, but he does end up getting a sacrifice fly. Striding in for his first at bat, Kristen Stewart. And he's a guy that's really scuffling at the plate right now. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Nope, that's the ball. And that misses low and away. Ball one. Nope, one the 1-0 home. Four, that's out. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Two all home. Oh, that's out. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. He's set. Here's the 3 0. Taking all the way, and it's 3 and 1 now. 3 and 1 with 2 on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try to induce the ground ball to get a double play. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swing and a miss and they come back from a 3-0 count to sit him down on strikes and there are two gone. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. Might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play.
Standing in now, Victor Reyes. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Comes set, the 0 1. Ground ball right side. LeMayhew gets to it. And a close play at second, but the throw does beat him, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on just one hit in the inning, one error in the inning, and a couple of men left. We played two full. It's the Yankees three and the Tigers two. Top of the third set to get underway. In now, Aaron Judge. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Now here it comes. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. One ball, one strike, the count. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. Trying to send him packing for the second time. So a full count now. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Now the payoff pitch home. Drilled to the right side. And that is through into right field for a single. Dan, after that base hit right there, we're talking about two full weeks of finding a way to be productive and get a knock. Good to think about that. You think how hard it is to get a base hit in a, in a professional baseball game and for him to be able to do it 14 consecutive days in a row as a pitcher, you have to just tip your cap to this guy. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. The average sitting at 292 here to start playing. Three homers, nine driven in. The 0 1 on its way. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. Third inning, already a 3 2 ball game. One and two to the Yankees catcher. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land untouched. Here's the one and two delivery. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely so down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. Jim Carlos Stanton now. And it's grounded just foul down the line. He comes in 0 for 1 on the day thus far after reaching on an error his first time up. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. <laughs> Runner at first here, one man out. Oh, 
And a fastball blew it right by him, and they're two down. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. This is hit softly to third, but an easy play over at third, and that'll be that. One left for the Yankees, and it remains a 3-2 ball game. Now to the plate, Cameron Maven. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. The right fielder, Cameron. First delivery to him on the way. One out. The one zero. -oh. Fouled away. The one one. Right. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Danger looms on deck here in the person of Miguel Cabrera. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Well, there's only a one-run cushion to play with, so he's got to be upset after he walked the leadoff man here. Go-ahead run comes to the plate, and there are no outs. This could be a very interesting inning. Next will be the designated hitter, Miguel Cabrera. Flied out in his first at-bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. From the belt, kicks and deals. Nope, ball one. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Here comes the 1-0. Takes this the other way to right. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. He's been cold. That average fell below 230, but that knock might have put him in a positive frame of mind. Hopefully that's the start of something big right now. Here's Jonathan Scope now, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. After it is Gardner. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he'll get into third here on the flyout, so he's 90 feet away here with one gone. We'll see if moving up to third pays off for him. He didn't have to tag and go for third, but now he can score a lot of different ways. Doesn't have to be a hit. So that'll bring up C.J. Crone as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. First offering on its way. Hey, this is a spot as a pitcher right now. You want to get a little bit greedy. Ideal would be to roll up a two ball. At worst, try to get yourself a strikeout. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. And the 
curveball. Bounces here, but a good job behind the play to keep it at arm's length. And boy, he didn't quite know what to do on that one, but he's lucky to barely get back at first. Lays off the one-two changeup, and he's worked it back to two and two. All right, no more hope, and he's going to chase. It's two and two now. You've got to come up with the best pitch right here because this is definitely a strikeout situation. Pause, now the pitch. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the yeah, punch man. out right there. Not got it to bend job. a lot, and by the time Keep it got going. there, it had fallen completely Good out job. of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. At the plate now, Nico Goodrum. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. On the year, Goodrum brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. Right side. And this will be a base hit as the runner will come in to score from third. And we are tied at three apiece. Now battle. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. To the plate now, Jimer Candelario. And he'll take a look at ball one. Two on, two out for him here in the third. A little indecisive with that swing as he waves through it. Ready with the 1 1. And it's fouled away. Two down, runners at first and second. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. One and two, here it is. At the end, ball two. Good job to lay off that one two breaking ball, put himself right back in this at bat. The set and the 2 2. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this AB hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Fastball, and it's strike three called. Oh, that looked inside, but instead it's the third out of the inning. Tigers get just the one. Three innings complete, and we are all tied at three apiece. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Really hard for the Yankees. At the plate, Tyler Wade. Tyler. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. First pitch coming. Here it is. 
Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. Now a change up but it misses just a little below the zone. On the ground to the right side. Scope is there. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Next to the major. The first baseman. Luke. Boy. At the plate, Luke Voigt. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Here's the pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now back the left fielder. Mike Coming to the plate now, Mike Talkman. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that up. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Through three and a half, we're all even at three apiece. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Tigers manager Ron Gardenhire during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. So striding forward now, Austin Romine. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. First pitch on its way. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. The plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now here's the pitch. Two, two, count. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. The batter, number 14. So the base is empty here with one away. And that means Kristen Stewart will dig in at the plate. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Now a fastball on the inside corner and he takes a look at strike one. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. The bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first will get him. Score it 5-3 on the putout though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless there are two away now. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Victor Reyes. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. Good breaking ball but he missed inside with it a ball and a strike. And 
and it's two and one to the Tigers leadoff hitter. It's one thing to get hit around but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Three and one now as that misses down and in. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one two three at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that and he's even gotten himself into a good hitters count now. A full count three and two to the Tigers center fielder. Three runs three hits one error for the Tigers thus far. Hit on the ground to short. Throw in the dirt but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Down in order go the Tigers. Four innings in the books tied 3-3. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMahieu. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here comes the first pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Here's Scope to make the catch, and there's out number one. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. So it's back to the top of the order now. And up next, the left handed hitting Brett Gardner. First pitch on its way. And that misses ball one. Now the 1 0. Line drive to center field. And Gardner's going to reach. It's a base hit. Even though that pitcher was able to execute in off the plate, batter was able to keep his hands inside that baseball and drive it up the middle. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. He's one for two in this one. The 0 1 pitch. Ball one. One ball, one strike. Steal, Runner steal. goes per second. Strike called. Now the throw down he is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. The one two is taken for ball two. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Now that now with the plate, Gary Sanchez, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. One oh. Fastball well outside. Ripped on the ground to first. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Home half of the fifth coming up. And we are all tied at three apiece. Luis Sessa, a right-hander standing now six foot even, will take over the pitching duties here. Number 85, Luis Sessa.
ready to go for the last half of the inning. Digging in once again, Cameron Maben. Cameron. Now here it comes. No, that's down. In his career, Maben brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. Now it's 2 and 0. Oh. Outside, 3 and 0 oh now. Well, knowing the threat this guy poses if he gets on base, I think the next pitch should be a challenge pitch. You don't want to give guys that can run a free chance to cause havoc out there, especially the leadoff guy. Three and one the count now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And that misses ball four now to lead off walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. Stepping up now, Miguel Cabrera, one for two in the ball game thus far. move over to first and he'll get dirty but he's back in safely he's ready here's the first offering strike taken the throw and it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw that's pretty savvy base running right a lot of pitches don't throw over twice in a row so I think he was going on first movement and it worked out nicely 0-1 count and the pitch. Liner towards second. But so this will be taken in at second base. Good positioning for the first out. The batter, number eight. Second baseman, Jonathan. Go! So here's the cleanup hitter, Jonathan Scope. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. He's set. Here it comes. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Three runs, three hits, one error for the Tigers thus far. And he misses with it one and one. Takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this will be foul. All even at two and two. Here it is. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The, the best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Here's C.J. Crone now as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Past meetings against Luis Sessa, he's just one for six. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. A bouncer up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to Bort takes care of him and the inning is over. Tigers leave one. Five innings complete all tied 3-3. Late now is the designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. He went down on strikes last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. 
Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. The 1-0. Is swung on, missed in that strike one. And he fouls this one off. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Again, he sends it out of play. Here's another one, two. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. I'll tell you, he's showing no signs of tiring right now. Still looks razor sharp from what I can tell, so I think he might last a while longer if he can keep this up. Stepping in now, Gio Urshela. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. A hit in two tries for him so far. The 1-0 is looked at for the first strike. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Swing and a miss, two and two now. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor, and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Here now the 2-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough now pitch that. to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Wait. So now to the plate, Tyler Wade. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The wind up and the 0 1. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Yankee shortstop behind in the count 1 and 2. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Hit down the line at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So the Yanks go one, two, three. On to the bottom of inning number six, tied three apiece. Bottom of the sixth inning now. Now batting, Nico Goodrum. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Here comes the first pitch. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. The 1 0 home. A swing and a miss, strike one. One and one. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. From the windup, the one-one pitch. Ooh, and heads up as this is pulled foul. Great. Here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Beautiful backdoor slider for the punch out right there, guys. When it's tight like this one was, it looks like a fastball off the plate, then darts back at the corner at the last second. Locked him up completely with that one. Standing in now, Jimer Candelario. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0 1. 
He was hunched out looking at strike three last time through. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Down the third baseline. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. He'll get it into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Man, that swing looked like self-defense than a real quality swing. But, hey, he muscled it out there, and it was enough to get him safely to second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. Into the box, Austin Romine. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Romine... A six foot one inch right handed swinger and thrower. He was taken in the second round back in the draft of 2007. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. And that's high and off the plate, two and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hits are now even at four apiece. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. That has to make you feel really good as a pitcher, right? You're making pitches all around the zone, and then you bring that one inside. You can't do anything with it. What does it do? It just locks you up inside. You have no chance to put the ball in play. Up next steps Kristen Stewart. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Two out here and a runner at second. Swing and a little blooper to center. Here comes Gardner. He can't get to it. This one's down. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Boy, talking about picking your teammate up after that strikeout, d -Row. Big, big, and I mean big, two-hard RBI single. Yeah, way to come through for your team. When you take the donut off your bat right there, you're trying to pick up your teammate. He had the right game plan, didn't come outside it, stayed through the baseball, and was able to come through. Into the box now, Victor Reyes. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. Two out with the man at first. That's popped up. And that's in there. Base hit. Boy, D roll, that ball wasn't hit very hard, but when you're struggling like this guy is, any knock is a good knock. Yeah, 100%. He doesn't usually get those. He has to square it up mid barrel to find a way to get a knock. He hasn't had much luck this year, but he'll take that any day. At the plate now, Cameron Maben, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Two men are on with two men out. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I got to believe the manager was hoping for way more than this. Hey. Two one pitches, a slider taken for a cold strike two. Got him. Minimizing the damage at just a run. The inning is over. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Tigers four and the Yankees three. 
Ladies Buck Farmer is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth now, appearance of the season here. Number 45, Buck Farmer. Luke Voigt will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. First delivery to him on the way. Hey. One ball, one strike. And that misses two and one. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink the strike zone to like the size of a soup can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. Full count, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Smoke toward third. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now that left fielder, Mike Talkman. Into the box now, Mike Talkman. He flew out in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. They teach pitchers to keep the ball down, but if you can locate upstairs like that, it really gives you the ability to mess with the eye level of the batter. Oh. A ball and a strike. One and one. Fastball. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. We're in the seventh inning now of a 4 3 ball game. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. To the plate now, DJ LeMayhew. He swings and grounds it to short. Scooped up. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Score holds at 4 3. Chad Green gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Chad. Coming to the plate now, Miguel Cabrera hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Slider bends into the middle of the strike zone taken for a strike. Hey, love the pitcher attacking the zone right here. He knows he's got a patient hitter at the plate. Might as well steal that first strike. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Weak grounder down the first baseline. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. Sometimes for a first baseman, the best thing you can do is just go ahead and tag the guy like that. Hey, there's a lot more that can go wrong when you try to throw to the pitcher or the second baseman covering. 
Into the box, Jonathan Scope. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Back outside. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. Well, when you hear people talk about the unwritten rules of baseball, I think we just saw a perfect example of that. You hit one of mine, and I'm going to hit one of yours. Always been that way and probably always will be, even though they've tried to crack down on that kind of stuff recently. Ready for another shot now. C.J. Crone. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here comes the first pitch. Ball 1. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. 1 0 count, here it is. Nope, outside. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters' counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches, and when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Ready with the 2 0. Strike called, 2 and 1. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Runners on first with one down. And it's two balls and two strikes now. We're going to see him throw that hard fastball early and often. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. Now batter, shortstop, Nico. Digging in, Nico Goodrum. He's one for two in the ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. Good luck with that pitch. That pitch is an absolute nightmare. Almost unhittable. Nasty downward action. High 80s velocity. And he takes this one high. One and one. Runners are at first and second with one away. Tiger shortstop with a ball and two strikes. One and two, here it comes. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third, and no swing. It's ball two. a swing and a miss and that folks is a big out number two.
Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. At the plate, Jimer Candelario, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's working on a one for two game so far. Ready with the 0 and 1. 1 and 1. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Fouled off. He set the three two. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Back to back strikeouts keep him out of danger. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. Joe Jimenez has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 77, Joe Jimenez. So coming to the plate, Brett Gardner. Last time through was a base hit. This thing's far from over even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Fouled away. A one count. Here's the pitch. Jimenez has some of the absolute best strikeout stuff in the game today, at least among bullpen arms. His strikeouts per nine is a number that's usually through the roof. This guy was tailor-made, Matty V, to be a relief pitcher. He comes out of the bullpen, guns a blazing. Two pitches that he can strike you out with, and more importantly, he comes out with an attitude, and that attitude is nasty, and he gets a lot of swings and misses. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. A swing and a miss there, two and two. hit hard towards the hole and this is going to find its way into left for a base hit and the leadoff man's aboard to start the eight. The leadoff hitter finds his way on base. Should be interesting to see the cat and mouse with the manager. Does he use the bunt right here? Do we put a little hit and run on? Do we go old school, new school and just let him swing away? Should be interesting. Stepping in now, Aaron Judge. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here's a swing and a miss. One and one. Four three our score here as we play the eight. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball.
This is on the ground over to first. There's one on to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game. As there are quickly two away now. Well, they got the tying run on base, but one ground ball later, and it's gone. He's going to be frustrated with himself after that. So base is empty now after the double play. And next to hit is the catcher, Gary Sanchez. First delivery to him on the way. Nope. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Great job of doubling up with the fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Got him swinging. Made him chase outside the zone that time, and that puts an end to the inning. Yanks held in check. Still down a run. It's 4-3. Jonathan Holder is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 56, Jonathan Holder. Next up for Detroit, Austin Romine. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that's by him. It's 0 and 1. Holder. Originally from Mississippi, he was taken in the sixth round during the 2014 draft. Hey, when you come out of the middle round, you have to grind for everything, and that's exactly what this guy has done, and he has turned himself into a solid big league ball player. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Here's the 1 1. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. But this will land untouched. The 1 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth Number inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. So now to the plate, Kristen Stewart, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. 1 out, nobody on. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1 and 2. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left hander up and throwing in the bullpen. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Into the box, Victor Reyes runs up and gets this one down. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Three up, three down for Detroit. But they hang on to a one-run lead, four to three. Tyler Lyons comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 58, Tyler Lyons. 
New inning set to get underway. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yanked on the ground down the line. On to first, and that is a big out to start the ninth. And that was a no doubles defense in action right there, and it paid off big time. That ball was scorched, but the third baseman was guarding the line more than usual to prevent an extra base hit, and it ended up being pretty much right at him. That's good stuff. So digging in now, Gio Urshela. He went down on strikes last time up. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. One oh. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. The 1 0 home. Misses inside off the plate. I don't mind him trying to pitch him backwards right there with those two early count sliders. But now he finds himself in a situation where he's going to have to come fastball. A high fastball is in there. The 2 1. And it's fouled away. One run game here in the top of the ninth. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Swing and a liner. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. That's a nice piece of hitting right there, Dan. He went heater up in the zone and then tried to drop the off speed, but he was on it. Boy, Mark, that's the oldest trick in the book, right? He used one pitch to set up the other. This guy wasn't having any part of that. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Into the box now, Tyler Wade, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. The 1 0 home is a fastball that misses. Into the corner and slicing foul. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. One out, one on, and a one run game. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Maven will have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big out number two. Now that the first baseman, Luke. Standing in, Luke Voigt. He was a ground out victim last time up. He set and the pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. Lifted down the line in left. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. A runner on first with two away. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. And he missed with it. Ball four, so that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. The closer is supposed to slam the door on his opponent, but he left the door wide open with a walk there. We'll see if they can capitalize on it. Ready for another chance? Mike Talkman. 
been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. No balls in one strike. Bounced up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Onto the shortstop, but thrown away. And he is in to score from second as the throwing mistake defensively came back to factor into that one. You know, d -Row, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning. So that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen. And I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sink and cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. In now, DJ LeMay here. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. Takes a pitch high and away for ball one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. One and two to D.J. LeMayhew. One ball, two strikes, you count. Two down, runners at first and second. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Heading out towards shallow right. Mabin is there. And that ends the inning. So not a good turn of events for this home crowd as now their ninth inning lead has evaporated. Tie game headed to the last of the ninth. The Tigers looking to celebrate in the Motor City. Miguel Andujar remains in the game playing third after entering the game as a pinch hitter in the previous half inning. Standing in, Cameron Mabin. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. First delivery to him on the way. Hey. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Oh, Cut fastball good. above the letters of ball and a strike. A foul ball off to the right side, and that'll move the count to one and two. Now here it comes. Ball two. Oh, and they pulled the a string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Now batter. Striding forward now is the D.H. Miguel Cabrera. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First pitch of the at bat. Unable to find the zone with the slider. Tough spot in the game right here. You have a very close call that doesn't go your way. This is when you have to really regroup as a pitcher and go out there and try to make quality pitches. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. If he doesn't shorten his swing up right there, there's no chance he keeps his bat back. And a good eye that time to lay off the fastball. It's 3-0. and oh. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. That one's in there. Three and one. Bases are empty. One man out. Three balls and two strikes to the Tigers' designated hitter. 
probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. No better way to minimize the potential damage a cleanup hitter can do than to strike out both guys in front of him. Always a confidence boost when you can sit down the guys at the top of the lineup. At the plate now, Jonathan Scope. As he'll take a change up here for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now the 0-1. Yeah, one ball, one strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two and one. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Into the windup. The 2 2 pitch. Hit hard back up the middle. LeMayhew's got it. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Tigers. Score remains tied at four. set for the start of the inning so back to the top of the Yankee order digging in Brett Gardner he steps in off a base hit in his last at bat hey it's never easy scoring runs against a closer but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning that misses wide one ball and one strike trying to bunt his way aboard but this will get fouled Still a ball and two strikes. Another one-two delivery. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. That's what you call clipping the outside corner. Great movement on that slider, and it completely locked up the hitter. Didn't fool the umpire, though. At the plate, Aaron Judge. He swings and grounds it to short. And there are two away now. Now batter, the catcher, Gary Sanchez. Next for New York, Gary Sanchez. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, that's off the plate. Two out, nobody on. Ball two now. You never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat, starting right now. And this one will be out of play off to the left. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there. It's three and one now. And the count will be full. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled off. Into the windup, the payoff pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. 
Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. Here's the payoff pitch. Weak grounder back to the mound. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three. This game's all tied at four. Your ben Heller comes on to start the home tenth, and he's just hoping to get this one into the eleventh inning. Ben Heller. Ready for the bottom of the tenth here. Into the box now, C.J. Crone. It was a walk in his last trip. Whoa. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 oh, 1. The pitch. Hey. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Ah, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0-2, right? Not you have to protect top. for the fastball. You have to look for the soft stuff Good down and throw. away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0-2. Stepping in now, Nico Goodrum. Yes, he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Side for a ball, one and one. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. One and two. And now a left-hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Harold Castro will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. He'll start things here at 316. One home run and seven driven in. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. And he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. Fastball just inside. Two out, nobody on. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential winning run is aborted first. Now batting, Hector Austin. Stepping in, Austin Romai. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Here's the first pitch. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. One and two to the Tigers catcher. I love the fact that this batter continues to be aggressive, but after striking out twice already, maybe he's got to take a step back 
see the ball a little bit deeper and be willing to work deep into the count. Throw on to first, and we are going to the 11th inning. One left for Detroit. Still all square at four apiece. Harold Castro is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Defensively for the Tigers. Now playing third base. Bo Burroughs takes the mound to start the 11th inning. Castro now pitching for the Tigers. Number 37, Bo Burroughs. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Giancarlo Stanton, struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. And a feeble swing that time, it's 0 and 1. Rip down the first base line, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Fouled away. Another one sent foul. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on it. Down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Here's Scope to make the catch, and there's out number one. Now batting, third baseman, Miguel and Duhar. And that'll bring up Miguel and Duhar. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Pitch on the way. Oh. One out, nobody on. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Takes this the other way to right. Maven is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. I know they say sometimes that these things even out, but that was a bullet line drive that gets caught. He would have represented the go-ahead run. Digging in to try it again, Tyler Wade. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here comes the first pitch. <laughs> 0 1, the pitch. And it's fouled away. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Here comes the one and two. And he strikes him out here for out number three, so after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Score remains tied at four. Aroldis Chapman takes over now to start the home 11th, and he's looking to get this one to the visiting 12th.
Bottom of the inning now. Now at the plate, Kristen Stewart. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Number 14. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel to that one. Two balls and a strike. Chapman, nicknamed the Missile for obvious reasons. He's in year one of a new three-year deal. This one is over, and he works the count back to two and two. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. And he fouls this one off. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. The batter. So back to the top of the Detroit lineup, digging in, Victor Reyes. And looking to improve on a one-for-five effort so far. First pitch coming. Here it is. A ball and no strikes. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. In there, and it's even at one. Bases are empty. One man out. And here's a fastball. Not close as he runs it to two and one now. Ball three. Here's a liner caught down there at third. Had him played perfectly that time, and there are two gone now. The right fielder, number four, Cameron Mayberry. Riding in once again, Cameron Maben. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. From the stretch, here's the pitch. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Faces are empty here with two men out. And he misses again, 2-0. and Down the left field line and deep. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Now a swing and a fly ball. Judge is on his horse. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Detroit. This game's all tied at four. The 12th frame in this one. Ready now. Luke Voigt. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Voigt. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. One out. He went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate. At the very least, they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. Ball two. Two and one after the foul ball there.
Now here it comes. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Mike Talkman will be next. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The three, two, one more time. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. This programming note to pass along, due to the length of our game tonight, the long-running animated series, The Wilkerson's, will not be seen this evening. Again, no episode of The Wilkerson's after the game tonight. Now at the plate, Mike Talkman singled home a run in his last time up. First offering on its way. Line drive to center field. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Now that is the second baseman, DJ LeMay. Ready once again, DJ LeMay here. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit hard towards center. And he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. So the two out base hit, and the top of the inning is still alive. Everybody's different coming out of spring training. Some guys get off to towards starts, some guys struggle. This is one that struggled, but maybe that single gets him going. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner as he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. There are two gone and the possible go ahead run at first. The set and the 1 0. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Here's the two and two. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Hit down the line at first. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Ready with another two-strike offering. Line to the right side. Uh, it's flagged down deep in the hole. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. The Yanks leave one. Still all square at four apiece. Next for the Tigers, Miguel Cabrera. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Miguel Cabrera. First offering on its way. Liner towards second, but an atom ball right to him for the first down. The batter, number eight, second baseman, Jonathan. Go! Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jonathan Scope. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. From the stretch. And a fastball's off the plate away. It's ball one. Oh. 
A ball and a strike. Gotta love a reliever that comes in firing bullets, and his fastball is a good one. A 1 1 home. Taken, strike two. One out, nobody on. And he held up in time, but it's strike three called, and there are two down. You know, I'm not quite sure how that strikeout will be scored, looking or swinging. He tried to check his swing, but I'm pretty sure the home plate umpire was ringing him up regardless. Into the box, C.J. Crone, as he'll take a look at ball one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Two balls and no strikes. Two out, nobody on. Two balls and a strike to CJ Crone. A little early and now it's even at two and two. And that one got a piece of him. And this is the case of a guy taking one for the team. I think he could have gotten out of the way of this one, but he leans into it and puts himself on board. Now he represents the winning run, so it's a good move. Stepping up to the plate, Nico Goodrum. He's one for four for the game. Here's the first pitch. Now a slider down the middle, but laid off. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle, and man, as a hitter, probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. And he falls behind 0-2. Oh and two here it is to short throw over to LeMahieu at second and that'll do it Tigers leave one score remains tied at four Thirteenth inning ready to begin. Digging in now for the Yankees. Aaron Judge. And looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. First delivery to him on the way. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. And he lays off the pitch up and in. Ball two. The 2-0 on the way. He is swung on and missed. Strike one. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in, and they get right back outside. Nice pitch. Three and one. Hard hit ball to second. And that will get through into right. So there's your possible go-ahead run on base to lead off the inning. Well, this guy makes a living now on right. hitting fastballs. Fall behind in the Here count, we. and you'll make your pay. Yeah, Dan, you drive to the ballpark every night praying to get in one three one count so your eyes can light up and you can guaranteed fastball let it eat. So now to the plate, Gary Sanchez. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. The 1 0. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. 
He struggled quite a bit at the plate in this one, so until he shows he can put a good swing on the ball, I don't think they're going to give him anything straight that he can handle. A ball and two strikes now. Now the one and two pitch. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. And now is the Yankees DH, Giancarlo Stanton. It's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Curveball looked at here for strike one. A great job pounding his own strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, you got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Hey. A ball and two strikes now. One ball, two strikes. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Here's Miguel Andujar now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Owen 1 count the pitch. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's 1 and 1. Hey, even though this guy's a righty hitter, he's going to get pounded with that two seamer. He needs to make sure he catches this thing out front if he sees that pitch again. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind 3-1. and one. Line hard. Foul. Payoff pitch on its way. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Stewart will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. One left for the Yankees. This game's all tied at four. Zach Britton enters the game now as he'll get the responsibility of trying to send this one to a 14th inning. Last half of the 13th inning set to go. Digging in for his second at bat, Harold Castro. He drew a base on balls his first time up. The pitch. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it now fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. In now, Austin Romine. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game.
down the first baseline. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Now batting. Number 14. Digging in now, Kristen Stewart. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Looked like that swing was in slow motion, two and one. And a pretty good take there on the slider down. It's ball three. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. Good pitch there. Called a strike on the inside corner. Good swing just a little early, and he'll see another payoff pitch. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 home. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential winning run is aboard at first. Just a nice piece of hitting right there, especially in extra innings. He didn't try to win the thing by himself or be a hero. He just patiently worked the bat until he earned the walk. We'll see if his teammates can pick him up now. Now time is called, and a very wise decision here with the potential winning run at first. They'll opt to put a little extra speed on the base pass. Here's the first pitch. Victor Reyes is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. 1 and 0. Oh, here it is. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. One and one. Here it is. Hard hit ball to second. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Throw comes in quickly, but the winning run is in scoring position now with two away. He was able to spit on that first slider right there, guys, but he didn't let the second one go. Able to execute and drive the baseball. Now at the play, Cameron Maven. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. Here's the first pitch. Nope, at the ball. Ooh, he's really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find the strike zone in the worst way. Inner third let go. It's a called strike. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. Liner towards second. And that's in there. Base hit. And that's going to do it as they walk off as winners here in the 13th. Well, the way things unfolded, you kind of had a sense that this thing was going to end in dramatic fashion. And that's exactly what happened. A walk off for the win? Wow.